All right, guys, today I'm going to cover everything to do with playing side spin, okay, left and right. This is not for beginners. Beginners should learn how to play vertical on the cue ball only, center ball, top spin, and bottom spin draw, okay? Until you learn how to make shots like that, do not try to play side spin. It's not going to work. It's only going to make things worse. But for you intermediates, more advanced, and even masters players and stuff like that, uh, this will help you to be consistent and to be able to move the cue ball around table where you need to and make your shots, okay? So we're going to cover the problems and the solutions, okay? I'm going to go through different scenarios. I'm going to use two different cues with a couple different strokes. I'm going to show you some problems and why they occur and how they occur, okay? And then I'm going to show you how to make the shots with any kind of cue. Now, there is no particular recipe, unlike some other videos on there. I'm not going to say just aim here and aim here because every cue is different. Every tip is different and every stroke is different. Even the cloth on the table matters to some degree when you're playing side spin, okay? The friction, um, the cleanliness of your balls, because if they're dirty or worn out or sticky, uh, you're going to get more um, spin-induced throw and stuff like that, okay? So <laughs> it takes practice. We live in an instant world where everything is instant right at our fingertips, but playing pool and making shots is not instant, okay? Um, also, the, what I talk about in this uh, segment, in this tutorial, in this lesson, is something that you need to burn into your muscle memory. <laughs> you don't want to be in a match and go, okay, well, I have to aim a little bit here with the left. I need to aim to the right. And You don't want to be thinking about this stuff in a match, okay? You just want to practice it over and over and over so that when you are in a match, it becomes just like that, just like breathing natural 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 okay and it will if you practice it okay i'm going to go through uh using my j flowers smo shaft which is very low deflection okay i'm also going to use an old wooden cue uh an old lacassi lacassi hybrid okay and i'm going to show you some different uh problems and how they occur why they occur and how to fix them okay let's dive in okay guys on a shot like this Let's say there's some traffic here and I don't really want to come over here, but I need to get over to this rail over by the side pocket. So I'm going to be playing some left spin, my left, okay? Now, uh, I'm using my SMO shaft, my J Flyers SMO shaft, my favorite cue, okay? Uh, the link will be in the comments if you want to check it out. It's a very good cue. I can aim center pocket on this shot, okay? If I hit it with a smooth, medium stroke, Okay, check it out. Center pocket. I could still get down table even if I wanted to with a medium stroke. Check it out. Okay, guys, on all these shots here, I'm aiming center pocket and I'm playing the same spin. All right, now I'm going to take this a very soft pace at the, at the same shot, but I'm going to do it at a soft pace. What do you think might happen? Okay, again, I'm playing left spin on the cue ball. What do you think will happen? Will I make the shot? Well, there's a good chance I'll miss it on the right side. Why? Because the left spin on the cue ball puts a little bit of a right gearing motion on the um, object ball, the three ball in this case, okay? Throwing it to the right. I could miss it by hitting this horn here, okay? So let's play the same spin, same aim. I'm just going to shoot it softer. Okay, let's do the same thing now, but I'm going to shoot it harder. <laughs> what happens when I shoot it harder? I'm still playing left spin. I'm still aiming center pocket. When I shoot it harder, deflection becomes a little bit more of a factor. Yes, there is a little bit of deflection when you shoot hard, even with my beautiful SMO J Flowers shaft. Okay, the deflection when I'm playing left makes this cue ball veer off path just a little bit to the right which means I'm going to cut this more than I need to, which means I'm going to miss probably on this left side of the pocket because I'm shooting hard. 
Check it out. All right, this time, guys, I'm going to show you what happens with a different type of stroke at a firm pace, but I'm going to jab at it. I'm not going to follow through very much. I'm going to have a jabbing stroke. And at a firm pace, that's going to uh, maximize cue ball deflection, which means we are probably going to overcut this quite a bit. In fact, so much we might almost make the bank to the other quarter. <laughs> okay, again, I'm aiming center pocket, guys. Check it out. I'm aiming the same, playing the same spin. And here is a jab stroke. Okay, so why am I going through all this? Because this is how and why a lot of you intermediate players miss these shots <laughs> in a match, all right? You never really need to hit it that hard. You can move this cue ball almost anywhere on the table at a medium shot pace. Again, here's left spin, medium shot, aiming center pocket. All right? You can kind of move that cue ball around where you need to. Okay, we're going to use a nice old wooden shaft here. I played with this one for many years, uh, back in my beginner days. Um, so I'm going to start out hitting a medium smooth stroke. Probably I'll still miss it because there's more deflection on this, meaning we're going to miss it on the outside. Okay, I am playing left spin, so it's going to cause this cue ball to veer off to the right causing an overcut. I'm hitting too thin on this object ball, even though I'm aiming center pocket, okay? Medium stroke, same left spin. All right, you see? We hit right about here, okay? That is the difference in the cue. Okay, and a little more firm this time. Everything else is the same except for the weight. Okay, you see how much we missed at that time, all right? And now, let's do a bit of a jabbing stroke, which I don't know why you would do, but some people do, okay? And you'll see how much more we miss it by. <laughs> okay, everything else is the same. Oh, hey, we made the bank corner when I was trying it over here in this corner. <laughs> okay, that's how much deflection makes a difference. All right, I did a video a while back called Haas, H-O-S-S, -S, okay? H-O, hard, opposite. S-S, -S, soft, same. Now, what does that mean? Let's deal with H-O, hard, opposite. You need to aim, if you're playing firm with some pace, you need to aim the opposite side of the pocket of the spin you are playing. Okay, if I'm playing left spin, what side of the pocket is opposite? Right side. <laughs> you remember last time, even with our J Flowers SMO low deflective soft, we missed over on the left side of the pocket when we were hitting with pace. So this time I'm gonna aim over here, which means I have to hit this a little thicker. Okay, so I'm gonna change my aim on this one. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of pace. And let's see if we can put it right in the heart of the pocket. Even though I'm not aiming there. Okay. Not bad. Now, generally, you don't need to shoot that hard. Unless you really needed to get right there. Um, and you need to go up and down the table. Hey, occasionally it happens or you need to do that. But uh, that's how you change your aim. Now, I'll also deal with the wood shaft here. Uh, and we'll see how much we have to change our aim on that. Okay, because this one even has more deflection, I'm actually going to be aiming like more than a half a diamond out. That's how thick I'm going to hit this ball. Okay, and we'll see if we can put it into, our, into the heart of the pocket. Yes, it feels weird. Okay, it didn't quite go into the heart, but we made it in the pocket. <laughs> even though I was aiming way out here. Okay, you see the higher deflection, you really have to compensate your aim. Okay, wood shaft again. Now, if I was aiming, hitting that a little softer, a medium pace, I'd probably only have to aim about here, okay? So I can hit this almost to the pocket, just a little thicker, 
and watch what happens. Okay, we still make it, no problem. Okay, and soft, same, SS. <laughs> what does that mean? Again, I'm gonna play left spin, which is inside spin on this shot. Um, but if I'm gonna hit it soft, I need to aim for the same side of the pocket of the spin that I'm playing. I'm playing left. Now I need to aim for the left side of the pocket or to miss it on the left side, okay? I am using my lower deflective SMO shaft by J Flowers, so I don't need to compensate too much. I just kind of need to aim for this horn or even to this side of the pocket jaw. Okay, so we're shooting soft. Spin induced throw is going to direct it to my right because I'm playing left spin. When you're shooting soft, spin induced throw becomes the more major factor than deflection. Okay, so. I need to compensate a little bit for the spin-induced throw. Okay, we made it in the heart, even though my aim was a little thinner on it, okay? So these are important things to learn when you're playing finesse little um, spin shots in a match, okay? You do need to learn how to do slight little adjustments and why, okay? So let's get into playing some outside spin and we'll see what happens. Okay, here, I'm still playing less spin on this shot, but now the angle is different. So less spin now is outside spin and not inside spin. Before we were shooting this way. So left spin was inside towards the pocket. Now left spin is away from the pocket. So it is outside spin. Now, have you ever done this before? When you're just trying to sit the cue ball here and you figure you're gonna do a little feather shot with some left spin, and this happens. Aiming for the center of the pocket. Well, why did that happen? Let's get into it. And you remember, soft, same. Okay, soft, same. If I'm shooting soft, I do need some comp uh, compensation no matter what cue I'm using, because the spin-induced throw is spin-induced throw no matter what, okay? And there is very little deflection when you're shooting soft with any cue, so deflection is not really an issue. Spin-induced throw becomes the major factor when shooting softly, okay? So when I aim center pocket, the spin-induced throw pulls me, pulls the object ball this way, okay? So I actually, if I'm playing left and shooting soft, what side of the pocket do I need to aim for? The same. Left spin, shooting soft, equals left side of pocket for the aim. So I'm going to hit this thicker than I need to. Aiming for the left horn. Okay. And watch what happens. Center of the pocket. And we come out right over here where we need to on a nice little feather shot. Okay. So... Stop missing these shots, adjust your aim, and practice it so it becomes second nature, involuntary reaction when you're shooting cool, okay? Okay, so I'm fairly close to this object ball. Um, so even if I shoot hard, deflection doesn't have a lot of time to really change the angle that much. If you're further away, it does. Hey, if you were driving from, let's say, Kansas City to St. Louis, and you change your trajectory by mm, one inch. <laughs> Won't be a big deal for the first quarter mile. Only you, you might just change one lane. But after a little while, you're going to be way off course. You're going to be maybe 200 miles off course, <laughs> okay, as it begins to open up and get wider and wider and wider. A new trajectory changes your path. But when it doesn't have a lot of space and time, it doesn't really matter. So when you're close, deflection doesn't become much of an issue. When you're two to three to four to five feet, six feet, seven feet, eight feet away, yeah, it becomes a bit of an issue, okay? So in this scenario, if I'm playing left spin and I'm shooting firm, I don't really need to change my aim. I can still aim center pocket. Check it out. Okay, I didn't care if I was scratching. Just showing you that I can hit firm on that shot and not change any aim. Let's see what happens if uh, I'm a little further away. Okay, put that same spot. 
All right. Let's get the same angle. There we go. So now I do need to actually compensate for my aim a little bit. Okay, I'm going to shoot firm. I'm playing left spin again, which means I need to aim for the right side of the pocket over here. Okay, so I'm going to overcut this a little bit and watch what happens. Okay, we put it right in the heart, even though I was aiming over here. Why? Because I had a little bit of distance, so deflection became an issue. <laughs> when you're close, not really an issue. Spin induced throw is, though, when you're shooting softer, absolutely. And deflection becomes an issue when you're a little further away and shooting harder. Okay? As you can see here, we are perfectly straight to the center of the pocket. Okay, I am going to play um, just barely above center and two tips of less spin. Okay, now this should cause a little bit of a, a throw to the right. And let's just see what happens. I'm not going to hit it hard. And let's see. All right. So that's with my SMO shaft. Very, very low deflection. Didn't really change the path at all, did it? And uh, you can see we had quite a bit of spin on the cue ball. But I shot it at a softer, uh, not a feather soft, but a soft to medium pace. Okay, now let's check out what happens with the higher deflective wooden shaft. Okay, as you can see here, we are perfectly centered to the center of the pocket. I'm going to shoot it the same, same spin and same aim to the best of my ability. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so it veered offline a little bit. It made me cut it. <clears throat> you can see the deflection uh, was more prevalent. It made me cut it to the left because when I played left spin, the cue ball came to the right, so which made the ball cut a little bit. We still made it, but you can see it just entered the left side of the pocket. And because of that, the cue ball went to the right side. Okay, so you can see the deflection difference between cues. Okay, wooden shaft again. This time you can see I'm aiming straight right here. So about three inches, four inches out of the center of the pocket. Okay, and I'm going to play a right spin on this shot. Okay, so I want the cue ball to hit here, 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 and come back out. So I'm playing top right. Okay, but I'm going to actually shoot this straight on. I'm going to aim to miss the pocket on the left side. I'm playing right spin, shooting with some pace, which means I need to aim for the opposite side of the pocket, guys. Okay. Depending on your cue, you might want to aim here, here, or even here where I'm aiming, okay? So, I'm going to aim this straight on. We're going to play top right. Let's we'll see if we can make it in the heart. Okay, it's close to the heart. We did enter in this side here. So, maybe I only needed to aim here instead of here. Like, I could have, you know, quarter inch difference or so. Still made the shot, still potentially made the shape, but you can see how the aim process works even with a regular wooden cue. Okay, uh, we're lined up for about the same spot right here, okay? Using the lower deflection cue now. I'm going to hit it the same way. We might miss this shot because it may not deflect as much as the other one, but we might still make it. We'll see. Okay, but I am going to aim straight on. Again, with some right spin, right about there. And let's see what happens. You see, we missed that one. And the lower deflection made us hit here. So essentially, with a lower deflection cue, you don't hardly need to compensate at all. Okay, so now I'm aiming for right here. So I'm basically aiming to still make the ball in the pocket, but like I'm just aiming for this jaw, okay? And now let's see what happens with right spin. Right in the heart, okay? And that is where you have to get used to figuring out how your cue responds to those kind of shots. How you tip, how your cue, how you felt, how your stroke, everything, okay? So if I was hitting that soft, I wouldn't need any compensation at all, okay? I'll show you. If I was hitting a medium with a smooth stroke, not a jab stroke, 
we wouldn't need any comp any compensation at all. Okay. All right. So I'll play right spin. I'm aiming center pocket. All right, you see that? I just didn't hit it as hard. Zero deflection. Okay, guys, in summary, let's go over a few key points that we covered. Number one, deflection happens on side spin shots almost all the time. It doesn't happen that much with softer shots, and it uh, is greatly increased with firm shots and especially with a jabbing stroke and not a smooth follow-through okay with most carbon fiber low deflective cues this one is to the extreme it's my absolute favorite okay but with most you can hit medium with a smooth stroke and you don't have to do too much aiming compensation at all as long as you're shooting medium okay so the further the distance the harder the stroke the more deflection number one okay number two spin induced throw does not really uh, come into effect when you're shooting medium to hard it does come into effect when you're shooting soft in fact when you have like an 88 or 90 degree cut to the side um, or to the corner or whatever you can actually cut that about 94 95 degrees with a little bit of throw because a spin-induced throw becomes a factor. If you hit that 88 degrees and you have some outside spin on it, uh, you can make that go 92 to 94 and even 95 degrees if it is a little bit further so the angle can open up. Okay, you can actually overcut shots uh, to make them, overcut them in, impossible, like over 90 degrees with the spin-induced throw. That only becomes a factor if you're not shooting too hard, okay? Uh, especially if you're feathering a shot. Feathering a shot, spin-induced throw becomes a major factor. Deflection doesn't. The spin-induced spin throw does. So that's why we have Haas. Hard opposite, soft, same. Okay? And medium, with a good cue, you don't have to do a lot. Okay? But it does take some practice. There are a few shots that I do need compensation for, even with uh, a very low deflective cue. There are some shots I still have to um, compensate for. Very few. Most of them I can just aim center pocket. And that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> All right. So uh, now I didn't cover cut induced uh, throw. And oftentimes a little bit of spin induced throw offsets the cut induced throw. I have other videos on that. I just did a few. Um, so you can check that out. But uh, I didn't get into that. Uh, I'm just getting into the basics of what happens when we're playing side spin. Um, I didn't get into the uh, what happens when you're cutting a ball, especially around 30 degrees where cut induced throw is the greatest. Okay, didn't get into that. But in general, if you have a 30 degree cut and you play just a little bit of outside spin, maybe a half a tip, you're going to offset any cut induced throw that happens. Okay, and vice versa. Uh, conversely, if you are playing inside spin, <laughs> you are going to amplify the cut induced throw. So that's why inside spin makes some shots harder because the cut induced throw and the uh, spin induced throw are both throwing the ball the same direction. So it can make you miss quite a bit easier. Okay. Um, so, but like I said, we're not getting into cut induced throw. Uh, we're just getting into uh, how to compensate and how to make these shots with side spin um with the two factors deflection and spin induced throw hard opposite soft same thanks guys